there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We are at the I-29 RV Supercenter. We are going to look at this Durango Gold. This is the 387 FLF. So let's do it. So as we come up to the front, as you see, we sort of have a pass-through storage. Um, there's an obstruction, you can't get all the way through, but as you can see, there's huge storage here. Also, there's a pull-out TV, which is great, I love that. Right, there's solar on board this one already, so there's already an inverter. Just in front of this, this is where your batteries will go. As you back up and we look for the awning, there's an awning that starts right here on the other side of this slide and it goes to the other side of this slide and then there's a second awning that covers the rest. Uh, it does have frameless windows as you can see. I love the steps. Step above steps, right? Sorry Lippert, I meant to say solid step. And as we keep on going, Asdell siding on the unit, let's not forget that. We got the Equif uh, Equiflex upgraded uh, suspension. This has a hydraulic auto level system six point see a little outdoor kitchen you got your ever chill sort of drawer style refrigerator beverages in there and your griddle which pulls out here love the griddle lisa i know me too that's nice and then as you come by as you start seeing back here all these doors there is so much storage in this unit guys uh this just you know if you're an enthusiast to go out and you like you know kayaks or canoes or i mean look at the space you could put all that in there love it right love or you're just full timer and you know, you want to store your winter clothes down here for the summer and vice versa, right? You can do that. So as you see, we're, uh, uh, there is a, a utility hitch. Your ladder is also mounted and you're pre-wired for a backup camera. So uh, let's go check out the other side. All right, so we're on the other side now. As you can see, there's uh, matching uh, doors here with uh, struts, which is great. So it holds itself up. Uh, both here and the rear. As we go down a little bit lower, Lisa, you can see there's a, a little storage there for your stinky slinkies. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not storage. Sorry, that's your sewer connection. I thought that was a, uh, a storage container. It is not, it's a connecting. It's where you connect your sewer. And there's pulls right there, Lisa. Nice. So we're moving forward a little bit. This is where your power connection is and your water connection points here. In your water bay, it has sort of a little separated tray. So if there's any leaks, it goes into this tray and then down the hole so it wouldn't go over there. By the way, I love the diamond plating down here. Yeah, that's nice. And the wood all wrapped in there, all finished off. Yeah, it's really is. nice. It is uh, a heated underbelly, guys. Uh, the only thing, uh, really, I'd rather see the, the power in the rear. Um, most camping places you're gonna go to, if you're gonna hook up, the power is all the way to the back of the, the site that you would be on. So. Um, that's a pretty long cable you would need to, to get to power. Um, you have two 30 pound protein panks. Your auto level control system is right there, which I do love it right there because you can have control and see your truck at the same time. As we move to the front, there is, uh, your, I call these your utility bays. If you wanna mount the generator, it would go in there. If not, you have storage. Over here is your, your hydraulic system, the tank for the hydraulic oil and, and some different things. And then there is another compartment up here. Um, it's closed because this is up right now, uh, but there is more storage above this as well. Uh, let's not forget you've got a Kurt Rotoflex pin box. All right, so nice upgraded pin box. And now let's check the weight. All right, so as you can see, this has a gross vehicle weight of 16,200 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity of 2,470 pounds. Love that cargo carrying capacity. So let's go inside. All right, so this is the FLF, right? FL stands for front living. And as you can see, we're standing in the front living. Before I forget, now, mind you, this is called Tall Man's RV Reviews. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around. You could be six foot seven up here and not have to duck, okay? So directly in front, you have sort of your entertainment center. Um, this is where your TV is. It's on a televator, so you press a button and this thing will go up. 
So what's really nice about this is if you're somewhere with great views and you're not watching TV, the TV can go down, which is really neat, Lisa. Yeah, very nice. So you don't miss those views. You have cabinetry flanking the, uh, the TV area. So very there's plenty nice. of storage up here. Right, there's a sound bar and a huge fireplace, Lisa. Yeah, look at that. You could warm all those all cold my digits. Toes. I know, with those mm -hmm. freakishly tiny cold feet. Let's not forget there's storage uh, left and right of that as well. Oh, that's deep too. It that is, it goes all, there. I mean, that is, yeah, that is really deep. I could put my whole leg back there. You might be able to sleep in there. <laughs> I might be able to. <laughs> all right, so you have opposing uh, pull out hide beds, okay, little love seats. Okay, and then back here you have your theater chairs, which are electric. And so I can't fold it down because we're not plugged in right now, but these are all electric. Got a couple cup holders in the middle of the place to put your remotes and things. And right, some end tables, there's uh, 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 110 power, Very plugging nice. in devices and stuff. You know what's kind of interesting and unique? Look down here. Each person sitting in a the theater chair has their own heat register. Oh, well look at that. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's meant to be, <laughs> but it just kind of works out that way. So if it's a cold night out and you've got the heat on, well, you both can warm your piggies. I don't even need the fireplace with that. <laughs> no. All right. Let's go down to the kitchen and check this out. Sure. I, I love this, this view from up here, right? You've got this like solid surface top here on the bar. Mm -hmm. Isn't right? that nice? The same solid surface over here on the island and uh, the, the countertops behind us. Yeah, love um, it. So yeah, this is off center the way you like it, Robert, just the way you like it. We've got a large single basin sink, this nice tall faucet. Um, underneath, we have, look at these, Look at the storage space underneath there. And I love they built that thing into, for the, those are the covers but, for your for your sink. Yes, but look what I'm hiding. <gasps> what? Is right. that a dishwasher? An actual, oh, an actual little and dishwasher. That's like almost full size. It is, isn't it? Look wow. at that. Wow. I love this. I, I love I, it. I know dishwashers have been a strange thing in RVs. It's a love-hate thing. You know, uh, the, uh, they used to put uh, them in not a long time ago, but the, the feedback coming from people who own them is they never use them. Yes. And so would you like a, a dishwasher in your RV? I would love a dishwasher in my RV. So uh, <laughs> leave a comment below and let us know if you would like to have a dishwasher in your RV or you just think that's dead space and you just rather have another cabin. Yeah, usually when you see dishwashers in RVs, they're like half the size yeah. and it's just one tiny little thing and yeah. they, they just wash but they don't dry. This, I believe, will do the whole thing. It is a profile. Nice, yeah. Isn't so let nice? us know in the comments if uh, you'd like to have uh, a, wa a washer dryer, <laughs> a dishwasher. <laughs> I do, I vote yes. And look at the beefy grates on yeah, this thing. Four burner too, Yes, nice, nice four burner stove. Residential appliance. It so, is, yeah. absolutely. Look at that, that oven. Um, on either side of the oven down below, we have some nice- uh, Ooh, trash. It, right? <laughs> Ooh, dishwasher. Ooh, trash. I know. Beefy crates. Right? Right. I love it. Um, we have our microwave. This is a convection microwave. And look at all of the storage. Yeah. Right? KZ Gold. Ah. A little spice. Yeah. There. Right? And then over it, here. And I, I kind of went to trash when she was trying to show you that cabinet, guys. <laughs> I just, she pulled it out. I'm like, oh, the trash goes there. <laughs> we have storage over the refrigerator. And then look at this. Isn't this nice? Yeah, residential. Right. Well, that one is kind of taped up. It's so taped I'm not up. Yeah, so we won't open it. So the freezer's down there. Yeah, exactly. And then Excellent. we've got our little coffee bar area. And look at all this extra storage. Yeah. I love that. Look at that. That is a lot of storage in this unit. But you know what? I got one other surprise. Oh, and there's outlets here too. Yeah, power for the yep. coffee pot. I got one other surprise. Do you? I do. Look at this. What? <laughs> wow. Man, you are hoarding some food in here. Now, did you notice? Look underneath. Well, hey, this is where your washer dryer goes. Right. So if you're going to do a stackable, it's in here. Yeah. Hey, I kind of like that. I, I kind of like that too. It's not in the bedroom. It's not in the bathroom. It's kind of out of its way, you know, out of the way. It, it is, but it allows for the additional storage. Yeah. You know, I... I e even if that was a washer dryer, there's still plenty of room to put food in there. Yeah, right? All right Love let's not, it. Let's not forget the dinette, Lisa. Right. Look at these chairs. Mm -hmm. Aren't those nice? Yeah. And then this will seat four that comes out. Mm -hmm. Right. Also, there's, you know, great pendant lights and, you know, we missed some of that as we were going through. Mm-hmm. Right. I look at the detail here. With the, uh, the glass look. Oh yeah, look at that. I bet that there's a light behind there. There probably is, but we're not plugged in, so. <laughs> this does have day and night roller shades. So there's your day. 
and there's your night, your blackout. All right. so if you want to live in a dungeon, you can do that. As we're walking up into the bedroom, there is a cabinet right here. All right, it's got some hooks. So I think actually this would be more like a coat closet, right? I yeah. mean, the door is right here. It's pretty close so to there's the door. there's your door. And so there's, there's no closet area there. Mm -hmm. And so you're not going into the bedroom, you're not going too far, but I think that would be a nice coat closet right there. Yeah, and then of course there's some cabinetry above as well. So as we get up into the bedroom, as you can see, the, the, the bed is on, um, um, I, I don't want to call it a lift, but it, it moves, it retracts. It's on a retractable system, so the bed can retract up into the slide, so when the slide closes, um, you're still able to have this. Um, if it wasn't on a retractable, you wouldn't be able to have this here. And so um, I like that. I do too. Yeah, and then during the day for some more work, uh, walk room in here, they have it retracted back so it's easier to move around. Yes. Okay, so this is 70. We're gonna say that's 80. I can't 100% tell uh, because uh, it's retracted back, but it's probably very close to 70 by 80, so that's an RV King, all right? Um, I love the uh, the balances back there, Lisa. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. Stuck on my microphone, everybody. Sorry. Uh oh. Um, there's there's no real nightstands left and right. So if you look above the balances and stuff, there's a tray up here. Okay, so you can put your phone or whatever you're charging, I guess, up there. I don't know. It's just a little awkward. But they're trying to use the space they have, right? Um, but I, I think that's awkward. Obviously, you can't put a CPAP up there. That would have to be on the ground. There is power down there, and so you would have to put that over there. There is also power on this side, so I guess you could have his and her CPAPs, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, oh, directly across from the bed. Oh, you can warm oh, your feet at night. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, nice you floors, know, I like that. Right, all the way through that fireplace. These are uh, really nice, aren't they? Look they at are. that. I'm sure most of you know, but all the fireplaces in RVs, they also put out heat. So it's not just a pretty look, um, it is also functional. Mm -hmm. So if you're someplace and it's not very, very cold, you could just heat the RV with the fireplaces. Yeah, right? that's awesome. Um, there's also a TV up there with some shelves left and right. Look at that. So for those of you still carrying uh, you know, DVDs or VHSs, or <laughs> you have a place to store them. But look at this, there's some hidden storage too. Look, I love that. Yeah. You know I like all those little hidden storage. <coughs> I know. Um, I, I don't want to, to miss, let's look under the bed and see if there's some storage, which there is, help me lift this oh, up. Oh yes. Okay, it's not meant to be lifted because it's on a track, okay? It does lift, but there's no struts. But what you can see is there's drawers, okay? So you are at least getting some use of the storage under the bed. It's just that lift system is very heavy, so it's it can lift, it's just not supposed to. Um, one last thing here in the master, you have a nice, tall hanging. In fact, it's so tall, you can hang two rows of clothes. Look at that. One down there, and then one up there. In fact, I think that would be for some slightly taller stuff. This would be some slightly smaller stuff. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. Like my shirts that are longer would go on top, you know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so then you get into the bathroom. Uh oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tall Man's Toilet Test. <laughs> All right, if you're jumping around the video and you missed it, I'm six foot four. Use my height as reference as we're walking around the RV. At my height, sitting on this toilet, as you can see, well, there are no issues at all whatsoever. It is a porcelain foot flush as well, so definitely. Directly across from me is a very confusing door. That is a huge closet, Lisa. It is. The reason why it's confusing to me is in most cases, I think that's where the washer and dryer would go. But there are no preps in there for it. So that is just storage for stuff, which is really neat. I like it. It's just, I was like, oh, do we have another washer dryer? But no, okay. Uh, over here next to Lisa, there's some storage for your linens. Lots of storage for right? linens, yes. And as we keep on swirling around, you will see we have the same solid surface countertop throughout which is awesome, two undermounted uh, stainless sinks, nice. right? The nice cool faucets, uh, two big mirrors. There's no medicine chest here, no medicine cabinet. Um, from a height, you can, I'm six four, I can see my entire self up here, which is great. Um, there's definitely ample power. So again, there not being a medicine cabinet, you'd have to put those in the drawers. Which we have tons of drawers. Yes, we have tons of storage in here, Lisa. <laughs> right, even over there. 
So the last thing we really got to do is climb in the shower for y'all tall people. So let's get in here. So as you can see, I'm in the bubble. However, I don't have to be in the bubble. I mean, it's tight, but I don't actually have to stand in the, it's a skylight, I call it the bubble. Um, you don't have to stand in the bubble, uh, which is great. Uh, the, the shower head's in a good place for a tall person. Um, the shower is interesting to me. Um, Lisa, look down here. Okay. So there's a huge shelf that goes all the way across here and it jets out. Now I'm a big guy and Lisa, my hands are just down by my side. As you can see, I'm rubbing the inside and I'm rubbing the outside. So it's just weird that they would put this shelf in here. Now, if you're a smaller person than me, this would be comfortable, but I, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel, I feel compressed in here. Height wise, it's great. But the width wise, because of that shelf that jets out, you know, three inches, it just, it makes it uncomfortable for me. So if you're a big guy like me, and, but you like the rest of this floor plan and the layout, just come here and check out that shower. Let us know what you think of this Durango Gold. We don't get to see too many Durangos, Lisa. No, we don't. <clears throat> I like this model. I do too. They've uh, got a lot of uh, interesting little things in here that we haven't seen before and, and yeah. I like it. Absolutely. By the way, if this is the first time you're finding our videos, you know what to do, right? Thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Tall Man Clan. We would appreciate it. It uh, costs you nothing, and it really does help us out. As far as the Tall Man uh, Clan goes, God bless you guys. Thank you for being with us uh, through thick and thin from the beginning until now. And until we see you all again on the road, be safe.